Hey everyone, this is Umar Rath. Welcome all of you to my channel. So here I am with a very uh, new content that is uh, what to do after your MSc. So this is a very genuine question that is arises uh, among the MSc student uh, while during your, uh, their MSc or after completion of the MSc. So the biggest question is like what to do in the next after MSc. Uh, because MSc is uh, like academic, so you have to uh, do the semester examination and have to keep the uh, CPI well. But the uh, rest of the thing actually your life will start after MSc. So the thing is like uh, I will go. I am going to uh, share my personal opinion uh, regarding the concept uh, how to do your life after MSc. But the rest is uh, upon you. So the decision on, uh, is on your hand. So basically, I will focus some of the career options uh, that I think is important. Uh, and you have uh, as your option, you can take one of the uh, one of the option for your career. So here I am. Uh, I will very much uh, interested on the important phase of MSc because uh, MSc uh, time is the period of time where you can uh, make your fundamental very strong as well as you can uh, you can uh, you can uh, choose the career option that is your calibrity as well as your strength and your weakness. So depending upon that, I think during your MSc, uh, you people are focused on your semesters and uh, your uh, CPI and uh, have to score more and more. But uh, less number of students are really trying to uh, create their fundamental and foundations. So I think, uh, 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 don't think about what to do ever after your MSc. During your MSc, try to uh, digest the physics, the fundamental of physics and how you can be a very good physicist in future. Whatever you will do in future is a different thing, but the knowing the fundamental of physics is very crucial. Okay. So for me, if you see, uh, if you uh, ask me, then I will suggest to during your MSc, your first focus should be fundamental. Okay. So fundamental physics is important. So rest you can decide after your MSc because uh, the rest will depend upon your fundamental. If you are strength, uh, your strength is physics, then no doubt you can do a good research. If you strength your MSc, you can have a good rank in the gate and net exam. If you are strength your physics, then you can crack the TIFR as well as different kind of examination like DRDO, ICRB, different thing. I will talk about it later. So the thing is like, don't miss your time during your MSc. You should focus to digest the fundamental of physics as well as to know the uh, concept and uh, how to read the books and uh, how to digest the root of the physics that is very important for my side of okay so my point of view this is very important for you uh, then the if you see the career option if you see the career option then i would like to uh, suggest you all that uh, these are the career option one can take so if you see then i have keep brc on the top because it's all all for all time it's my favorite BRC will be in the top for me, then DRDO is there. But I will uh, talk about individual in a uh, detailed manner. Then I see uh, ISRO ICRB examination, then MTech. Why I am keeping MTech? This is very uh, uh, important point. Why I am keeping MTech above PhD? Then PhD, then the question is like India or outside India? Outside India. This is very important question. Then B for PGT post, uh, uh, someone is trying to be a good teacher in life, no doubt he or she should do B in order to be a good teacher in, uh, in a postgraduate teacher post. So then own institute, lot of students are there, physics students have lot of calibrity to start their own institute and can teach the student in a well and uh, a descriptive manner. So they people should go for the own institute. Okay, I will. I will uh, I will congratulate them. Uh, those are trying to be a owner of their own institute. They can be a good teacher in future. So no doubt they should go for it. But what and why one should try for the first three? That is the research in BRC, DRDO, and ISRO. And what to do? This is this is a respective position because you will face placed as a scientist C in BRC, DRDO, ISRO, as as well as IUSC Delhi. Okay. So inter-university oscillator for oscillator center that is a uh, atomic uh, DA uh, institution under DA. So you people should try for this four. But the criteria is like for BRC the people are doing a uh, routine in order to uh, take you for the interview. And DRDO for the physics discipline you need a rank below 40 to 50 or nearly 30. So this rank is necessary for get examination. Uh, for ONGC also, for ONGC for the physics student, 
you people should have the uh, specialization electronics in uh, ms electronics okay so those people have the specialization in electronics during master they people can try ongc but the rank should be a respective rank uh, under 50 okay this is another thing so for uh, for a scientific post for the for a scientific post you need a respective rank you need a respective rank that is less than 100 i think 100 is not a safe zero rank below 50 is a safe rank so if you need job because most of the student uh, during masters needs a job and less number of students are trying to be a researcher in future because uh, PhD is a lengthy process, PhD then postdoc, then you will be placed as assistant professor in India. So no doubt it is a very respective position but uh, you need a lot of time and years have a lot of patience should be there. Okay, So that's why uh, people are trying to be uh, stable by doing some kind of job. So if you are a physics student and uh, trying to be a scientist in your uh, 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 in your career so please go for a get rank of less than 50 this is very important and in order to have a rank 50 so you have to work hard and hard and hard then you can have a rank then you can try this for post inclu including IUSC so this is a best option suppose you are trying for 3 to 4 year or 2 year for a rank of below 50 no doubt you can crack one of the examination if you are for strong fundamental on the physics okay so for me uh, BARC, IOSC, DRD and ISRO because ISRO nowadays uh, requirement is very low last 4 to 5 years there is no requirement from ISA, ISRO ICRB examination is not conducted for last 4 to, 4 to 5 years so that point of view uh, BRC will be very fine also then DRD then IOSC okay then then I placed MTech then I placed MTech in the list why I placed MTech one second uh, why I placed a MTech in the list? Because after MAC, because after MAC, if you crack gate, if you qualify gate with a good rank, like uh, 500 or under 1000, below 1000, 1000, try for MTech in core department or any department. Core department means electrical will be very important, very crucial also. If you get MTech in electrical in top IITs like 6 to uh, 8 old IITs, no doubt after your 2 year, you will placed in certain company with high package because IIT placement are very high. Okay, so you will placed in a very respective uh, annual package. So after MTech you are doing your, uh, sorry, after your MSc, uh, you are doing MTech in a very uh, good IIT for 2 years, you will be placed in a nice company and you will have a great salary on your hand. Okay. So, MTech will be fine for those who have a respective rank and get a, to do MTech in a respective IITs in a core department or any department in IIT. Okay. And nowadays people are doing MTech after 1 to 1.5 year, if they secure CPI 8 or 8.5 they can convert to PhD directly in that department, no problem, okay. So join dual degrees there, MTech plus PhD program like it is going on IIT Kharagpur as well as IIT Madras and different IITs also in IIT Roorkee also, okay. So after MTech, if you not get any job, there is very less percentage chance that you will not get a job in uh, MTech during or MTech in IIT. So you will be placed, if otherwise, if you didn't get the chance to be placed in any company, then you can convert to PhD and you can have a great research career, okay. So then I come to the PhD, PhD. So PhD, uh, I think PhD is for those candidates, those are highly enthusiastic or very much interested on the research field like in physics, okay. Other they don't come to PhD. It is very frustrating will be there, okay. Your, your life will be like, you will suffer a lot. If you have a interest on the physics and you have an interest on the uh, research, then no doubt you will enjoy your PhD life, okay. So it will be amazing uh, year for you. But if you don't have any interest, don't come to the PhD program. Go for the other options, okay? So PhD, doing PhD, then you will be placed as assistant professor. Otherwise, you have to do the postdoc in the higher research institute. After postdoc, you will be placed as an assistant professor in India or anywhere, uh, anywhere in the world. But the thing is like you should do PhD in India or outside the India. This is a question. Nowadays, during your MAC, you are thinking doing PhD in foreign is it possible? Why not? It's very simple. Lot of students are going for PhD in abroad. Lot of my friends are doing PhD in USA. So it's depend upon you and your thinking. Okay. So if you are uh, trying to do the fundamental research in India, then it's fine. Do your PhD here. 
then after completion of phd go for the abroad for doing your post doc that's fine or if yes then you if you have any project you have any paper in the msc then go for phd abroad it will be very amazing because you will get a lot of opportunity lot of fascinating lot of sophisticated instrument to do your phd so it will be a, it will going to be a good phd okay so no doubt it will be going to be a good phd so if possible then try for abroad for your phd then then i will come to the bid and pgt post lot of student are there they are trying to be a good teacher because lot of student have the talent to be a good teacher so for them i will suggest go for bid and crack tj uh, otd ctd jo bhi exam hai in odisha like otd ctd they are there and the respective state they are the respective examination to be a pgt or tgt teacher so be a pgt teacher and enjoy your life and uh, uh, spread good education to the student that's it then my last point but this is not a last point this is very important but own institute some student are there they uh, those have calibrity to stand their own uh, institute like they can be a amazing teacher okay by themselves so for those student i will suggest them to stand as institute with a less number of student initially it will be going to be amazing institute in future so i think doing uh, your own business not like business education is not a business education is a fundamental thing okay so stand your institute give and spread education to the student and earn money from them and live your life that's enough for your life because spreading of knowledge is i think is the important factor of the society and important thing in life because something that is spreading to the society and it's going to be helpful to the others is amazing feeling okay so you'll feel amazing at the last because uh, you, are, you are a student you know the value of education so if you are planning to do something for the others then stand your own institute uh, spread education spread spread education in the free to the poor and needy student okay so this is fine okay so these are the career option you can choose out of him this is my experience and i think it may be helpful to you that's it it's all of all of on you so think about your calibrity your strength and your uniqueness and uh, after that decide which whichever is suitable for you take it and crack it that's it you have to work hard you have to work hard then everything is possible in a easy manner thank you so much for watching my video so have a great life ahead right? so thank you be with my channel like subscribe and share my channel thank you so much bye